Okay. You guys went through a piece of the Mishnah and then a Baraita um, on the next page. So, first, the Mishnah. Ben Sera Moreh, you know who that is. Nidon Al Shem Sofo. He is judged, right? Now, that Al Shem, I want you to remember, in the name of, best translated as because of. Sof is end, so Sof Shalo Sofo is his end. Now, uh, most of you didn't know what exactly that meant. What is his end? Um, and what does it mean that it's because of his end? We're not going to answer that question. You're going to need to answer that question. Okay. So be thinking about that. Now, clue number one is this next line. Ya moot. You all figured out that that's moot. Right? Just die. Right? Moot and mita, death, right? So the future tense, look up here, can be will do something or should do something. So in this case, ya moot, he will should die. Zakai, innocent, you have that in your vocab. And not guilty. Do you understand what, exactly what that means? What are we saying? Well, um, it's okay if you don't yet, but you will need to figure it out. Um, but this line is going to be key to understanding what this line is saying. And this Baraita is going to help us figure out what that line means. So, Rubiosa Glilio Mer. This is our bright time. Now, the chi, right, I can put is it in parentheses, but probably the best thing is to translate the sentence and then put the question marks at the end. Mipnei she. You're going to have to remember that. Because. Achal ze. Those two words. Achal ze. Okay, not ate, he ate this, right? Because what he ate is here. The Z is the kid. This kid ate meat and right. This shata and drank. Right. That's the you know the exact amount of Italian wine. Right. This, those are the terms you know from the other Mishnah. Amra Torah, the Torah said, Yetze, he will, should, go out to the Beit Din, Beit Din, right, court, to be, now, here's where that Vichy comes in, you put the question marks, or not just one, but a bunch. Now, read that sentence again to yourself with the, with the tone and the, with what kind of question is he asking. Okay? I'll wait. So now you should have a sense of what's his problem with the Mishnah. Okay? Now, given that problem, let's see what he says. Ella... Rather, different answer. Again, this is a, a tough phrase, right? The Torah came to, right? And here I translated Sofdato, the end of his understanding, but how he'll turn out. Okay? What's he going to do? Shesof, right? In the end, Megamer Nixaviv. He'll use up, he'll finish Nixaviv, his father's possessions. You need to know, how is he finishing up his father's possessions? What, what's he doing that will slowly, well, maybe quick, slowly, maybe quickly, 
to go through and use up all the side of the possessions. Okay. Then what'll happen? Next step. Vakeshli Mudo. Alright. He'll I say I said get his fix, but really really Mivakesh to seek. He'll seek his fix, right? We mudo from to learn, but is what he's his habit, right? The thing he's learned to need. They know mutze, right? And doesn't find it, right? So if he, why doesn't he find it? Mm, interesting question. Now, when he doesn't find it, what does he do? Yotze, we've already had Yotze, right? He'll go... He goes out to a crossroads. Umelastema tabriot. A least team is a bandit. And become a bandit. Attack people on the road. Right, crossroads was a place where highway robbers and bandits would wait in for someone to cross so that they could attack them and steal from them. Now Amra Torah. The Torah said, You already know that phrase, so go back up and, re and remember up here what it means. Okay, now. Now that your task is to figure out how, what's the, what's Rabbi Yosei Gwili's problem with the Mishnah? How, how does he explain or answer the problem and how does that give us the definition first for this statement and ultimately for what we mean by this statement those are things you need to figure out